This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. Speaking of pure punchers, fight that just happened just past Saturday. Javante Davis, Leo Santa Cruz. But what's your thoughts on that? Uh, listen, my thoughts are very, very simple. People can say whatever they want. When you get a guy that has heavy hands, they hurt people. The only reason I can tell you that is because I have a son that is the same way. When they hit you, they hurt you. It could be a body shot. It could be, they could hit you on the shoulder. I've had them, I've seen them dislocate guys' shoulders with jabs. When you get a guy that's punching, it's just different. It can end at any moment, and that's what makes them exciting. That's what people pay to see. Leo Santa Cruz never had a chance in that fight. Never had, I don't care if he would have won the first eight rounds. Sooner or later, he was going to get caught with a shot, and when he does, it's over. It was over. <laughs> it, it was over. It was over, over. Yeah, it was bad. I, I didn't see it happening like I, that. Leo Santa Cruz might never be the same after that shot. He might never, ever be the same after that shot. We'll see. Uh, I, you hit a guy with a punch like that, man. It, it's it's damaging. I mean, not to mention the damage that he took before that. I mean, the body shots had hurt who do you want to see Tank fight next? I would love to see Tank fight like a... Uh, I'd like to see Tank fight uh, Tiafimo. I know that'll probably never happen because of the, the rivalry between companies, but if not, I mean, give me give me a real 135, man. Give me a guy like... I mean, I, I'll take Devin Haney, which that'll be hard to make too because they're both superstars. Uh, I mean, anybody in the top 10. I, I'd like to see him fight Richard Comey. That'd be a good... Uh, I yeah, love I like to see fight. Richard Comey. Mm -hmm. I, I, if he does well with Richard Comey, then he's a real 135. If he struggles, he's a 130. It's a good fight. All right, last question. Recently, um, Deontay Wilder took to social media <laughs> and made some accusations yeah. against Tyson Fury, his trainer. What's your thoughts on that? I don't think Mark Breland would do something like that. I don't I don't know Mark Breland personally. I've never met him, so I don't know. But, I mean, when you groom somebody for 12 years, I don't think you want to throw your own work out the window. As far as Tyson Fury, man, they tell you if it looked like a duck, quack like a duck, <laughs> it's a duck. So with that, uh, that glove was floundering around a bit, uh, and it looked like a duck to me. So, <laughs> I mean, from there, they can, they can take that as what it is. But, I mean... I, I've never seen anybody's glove flounder around like that inside the glove. Mm. And, I mean, hey, look, he didn't get caught. So, I mean, it's, it's nothing anybody can do. Nobody's in investigating it. Nobody's doing Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's saying anything. I can guarantee you this, though. If that had been a different fighter, they would have definitely uh, went into that. Those gloves look suspect anyway. And nobody can tell me that those crazy green gloves didn't look suspect. But that's just me. Now, as a trainer... Is your eyes always open for situations like that? Oh, hell Fighters yeah. and trainers trying to every, get over? Every, every fight I have my strength and conditioning coach in the other in the other room watching them, watching them get their hand wraps, watching them put the gloves on. I'm not taking any chances. That's not only my fighter, that's my kid. Mm -hmm. If we're going to fight, we can fight. I'll, I'll fight whoever, whenever. When, when we get to that stage in our career, man, I don't care who it is. You, we can fight. I'll send you the contract, and we can fight. But... It's gonna be it's gonna be stipulations on that. I'm definitely gonna get drug tests. Definitely gonna be on your head. You're not just gonna walk in here and do whatever it is you want. It's not gonna work like that. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. You already know, man. That's what we do.